So people got a little worried when they heard that I was going to start cooking with bugs until they saw my last video where I made cricket tacos. And they said, that actually looks pretty delicious. I'd love to be on your show. I said, great, because I'm going to be doing a blind taste test that's going to be a little inspirational piece. And they go, great, what are you going to be cooking with? So I said, cockroaches. And then all I heard was crickets. So jokes really aren't my strong suit, so let's just get to cooking. All right, so we're back with another blind taste test. And this recipe actually comes from a little bit of an inspiration. I'm not gonna say any names or anything. Let's just say there may or may not have been roaches involved and there may or may not been sushi involved so I decided why not combine the both and I learned with the crickets before that it has a little bit of crunch so I'm going to kind of play to that and I'm going to be doing a dragon roll which is a tempura shrimp that's going to be in the sushi so I decided we're going to be tempura in the, the roaches but I still actually have not had a roach myself so I'm going to be doing all this blind so while this is cooking I do want to introduce our gentleman that's going to be joining us uh, for the blind taste test. Come up here, Trey. So this is Trey. He will be blind taste testing the two different sushi rolls to see how much of a difference it really does on the flavor. And I'm not going to let him enjoy tasting one of these yet. Ooh, this guy's a little juicy. So you're about to see my first taste of this, and then we're going to get the making the sushi rolls and doing our blind taste test. So oh, I, I think he's actually done already. Let's take this little guy out. And I actually felt a little bad doing this because they were kind of cute. Never thought that. Let me see here. So this is, oh, wow, look how elongated that is. Okay, this is, this is why I'm not going to let you do this yet. I don't want to ruin this experience for you, and I'm going to eat it regardless. So this is a, <laughs> I believe it's pronounced Dubia roach, and they come from Central and South America. They are not like your typical house roach. So this isn't going to be anything that's going to be infestation sort of stuff like that, where people think of that whenever they think of roaches. So these are actually, they're, they're kind of clean freaks. They spend about 50% of their lives cleaning themselves, and they have been on a diet in my shop of just fresh strawberries until I decided to harvest them. So... Oh, that, that's, 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 that's plump. So here is the first bite. <sighs> this is actually hard. Cheesy. It actually is cheesy. All right. Let's get to making this sushi. First, we're gonna start off with the eel sauce because it takes about 20 minutes to reduce. With the heat set to medium, you wanna add a quarter cup of mirin, about one and a half tablespoons of sake, and two and a half tablespoons of sugar. You wanna mix it all together, dissolve the sugar, and then you're gonna add the quarter cup of soy sauce. You're gonna bring it to a boil. Once it's at a boil, you're gonna reduce it to low heat and simmer for about 20 minutes. Next, we're gonna start on the tempura batter. You're gonna start with an egg. You're gonna whisk it. Next, you're gonna whisk one cup of flour in the egg, then add one and a half cups of water. And last, we're gonna add two tablespoons of cornstarch. The purpose of the cornstarch is to make it crispier. The last we're gonna prepare is the filling for the sushi rolls. And yes, those are roaches. Start with one Persian cucumber. You're gonna slice it in quarters and then slice it again, remove the seeds. Few green onions, this is up to you though. I just add them for the flavor and they're chopped. One avocado halved and then sliced. This is somewhere up there are things I thought I'd never say. You're gonna to want to de-limb the cockroaches just so it does not get in your teeth. It's not that it's unedible, it's more just, it gets stuck in your teeth. And last is going to be our shrimp. We're going to peel them, de-vein them, and plate them. To my surprise, there was not that much information out there on uh, battering and frying cockroaches. So I basically fried them until they started popping, and then I remove them from the oil and stick them off to the side. Last, we're going to batter the shrimp, fry them up for about two, three minutes until they start getting a nice golden brown and remove them from the oil. Except for this guy. This guy was just a jerk. He would not get in the pan. This is taking entirely way too long to get him into the pan. 
This is the part where I should have actually either used a finger or forks. Remove the eel sauce after about 20 minutes. Remember, it will thicken as it cools. To start, you want to put the shiny side down. Remember to dip your fingers in vinegar water before you start using the rice or you will absolutely hate your life and you want to press it down onto the sheet until it is fully covered and flip it over. You can build this however you want. We put cucumber, the avocado, added some wasabi. Last, you're going to add your shrimp, as many pieces as you can fit on there. This is the dragon roll and now it's time for the magic. Rolling it. This has to be the hardest thing on making sushi. You want to roll this as tight as possible. Reason is, tighter it is, easier it is for you to cut it. Sprinkle on some black toasted sesame seeds and slice it. This has been sped up for dramatic effect. All right, so we have finally made it to the blind taste test. It's time to do the, uh, the ritual blindfolds, but uh, you know, we don't know what we're getting into. So we have our wonderful alcohol. He's more of a fireball and I'm more traditional sake. So let's drop these blindfolds and uh, See the difference? So like I said, this is the dragon roll. This one's gonna be the one with the roaches in it. And this one is gonna be the one with the shrimp. And what was I saying wrong again? How, it's Dubai, it's not Dubai, Doobie. Doobie roaches. So, uh, <laughs> that's, that's actually a little funny. All right, let's get, let's, let's get to trying the, the Doobie roach. Doobie roach, Doobie roach. Doobie. All right, can you see is his on? How many fingers? I have no idea. How many fingers? <laughs> I don't know. Ow! You... <laughs> All right, serve us. Let's do this. All right. Mm. We're done. Would you like it with a hand, finger food? Because it is saucy. Yeah. Or do you want a fork? Oh, you know what? I want chopsticks. I'm gonna do blind chopsticks. Oh Jesus! I got this. All right. What, do you want a fork? Yeah, a fork would be wonderful. Watch penis. <laughs> All right, so are they both on there? Yeah, they're both on there. Well, so you know which one's which. You're going to pay attention because last time... We I know didn't... exactly. I knew which one was which last time. Okay, so... Oh, am I doing it? Oh! Oh, it fell. No, nope, now you're grabbing a different one. And there's one in the middle. You have one on the fork? Yep. one's on your fork. All right, all right. Blind, blind. All right, you ready, Trey? Yep, yep. let's do this. All right. Wasabi's kicking. Hmm. I don't think I have a blindfold one. You can't see me start crying. You know that wasabi is kicking. <laughs> Woo. Mm. Mm. Okay. I think I already know which one's which, but let me taste the other one. Mm -hmm. Oh. I can't too. Mm. Mm-hmm. Mm. All right. Now yeah, I know the difference, but... Mm. Should have done. We cut the shrimp down. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. And sliced it a lot thinner. Mm. But... <laughs> you can take it off. <laughs> that looks funny. Hey, it goes with your shirt. All right. So, what are your thoughts? Honestly, I couldn't tell the difference. Um, the only reason why I could tell the difference was because the second one I ate was actually the shrimp, and it was a lot meatier. It's the only reason why I could tell the difference. So I'm gonna give this one actually two thumbs up. This is the first recipe that I decided to come up with, and I would like to thank the local source for the inspiration for this. So all right, well, um, yeah, this is a great recipe, and y'all have a good one. See you in the next video.